Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dream, if you are new here, and I am a Southern California mama of two. Um, today we're gonna do a Valentine's Day clean and decorate with me. So before we get started, I just want to show you guys all the items that I'm using. Um, I'm not gonna do a separate haul video, so I thought I'd just include it in this one. A lot of the items I'm repurposing and reusing them. In the new year of 2021, I just, since we're all spending much more time at home than we ever did before, I just want a clean and cluttered free space. So I tried really hard. I didn't buy, I bought very few items and um, most of the items that I'm going to use in this video, I'm reusing, but they are still available in stores. Um, I have a bunch of Hobby Lobby stuff that I got from last year or the year before, and I know that they still have them in store. So let's get started. So I only have two tubs, and that's not a lot for me. <laughs> One, two. Two tubs of Valentine's Day stuff. If you are old to my channel, you know I'm a girl. I do like to decorate and do all that. So. For most of my decor, I have tons of, most of the boxes in the garage, the containers I mean, they're all decor. But for Valentine's Day, I just have these two little tubs and that's what I'm sticking with. So let's jump right into the first one. So the first one is a new item that I did purchase this year. It is this Tic-Tac-Toe X's and O's set that I think is so cute. I picked it up from Walmart this year. It was $6.98. And I think it'll go in so well with my decor. Not sure where I'm gonna use it, but I just, it was too cute not to pass up. And under $7, it's kind of a steal. So really cute from Walmart. And then from Amazon this year, I ordered this pillow cover. It says, be mine. Um, and I like to do pillow covers versus just buying a bunch of new pillows each season. Two reasons, easy to store and they are much, much cheaper. So this was only a few bucks. Any items that I can have linked down below, I will do so. And then the back is just plain and it has that little pop of red and I think it'll be really cute. Not sure if I'm gonna use this on the master bed or down in my front room. The next thing are these little felt picks. They were $1.99 from Michaels, but I know that I got them for like 20 or 30% off. So I didn't even pay $1.99. They only had three of the red, so I picked up three and I think I'm going to add this to the garland in the master bedroom just to jizz it up a little bit. And then I picked up this. I'm not even sure where I'm gonna use this banner. It was only $4.99, but like I said, it was 20% off and it's in that red and white and the hearts are interlocking. In my decor, I save it and I use it year after year. And then I have these two little love signs. This one is in white. And they are from Walmart, $2.98. And then this one is in the red. And I think they're really cute to just add a little bit of color. My home is pretty neutral. So when, for Valentine's Day and Christmas and just the different holidays, I like to pop in some color just to liven it up a bit. And... From my local grocery store, I picked up this little sign. You're gonna see I have quite, the, I have a lot of signs. I think it was around $2. My store is Albertsons. Sometimes Albertsons, Ralph's, I don't know what part of the country you guys live in, but they will have some good stuff and they will have sales and deals. So I, this is Love Nest and I thought that was really cute. And then, you can't have it enough. Well, you can, but I picked up a few tea towels. Um, there's this one. I think I'm gonna use it in Brooklyn's play area with the little gnome on it. 
gets really cute. And then this one that just says love and it's kind of basic. And just stripes on the back. These were, I threw these in here after Christmas, but these were tea towels that I used during Christmas time, but I thought I could repurpose and reuse them somewhere during Valentine's Day. So it comes in a two pack from Target and there's a plaid and a red. And then this bowl was from last year for my local grocery store, but I know that my, my store has them again this year. And then I know that um, Hobby Lobby has some similar ones. But it's just this little heart-shaped bowl. Then I have this love sign. I have had this one forever. And this is actually from the Dollar Tree. And you can hang it if you would like. And then I thought this little pillow was so cute. And the Dollar Tree, I got this a couple years ago. I thought this was really cute and inside it has the little love note and this was from Walmart and it was only $3.88. And then from Michaels, I love the simplicity of this little heart and it was $4.99 but like I said, it was like 30% off. And then I have had this for a few years and I think I'm going to use it on the laundry room door leading into the house, um, our little mud area, but this little welcome sign, I know I got it from Michael's probably three or four years ago, but I was just there and I saw this still. And it's just wood. And then I threw this runner in there. I got this from Amazon three years ago, I want to say. And I'm not sure if I'll use it on the table. It's burlap. It's fringed on the end. Um, it's a decent size. My table's really long. Um, it's a good size. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use it or not. But I just threw it in here because it was red. And tis the Valentine's Day season. And then a couple months ago when... I was at Home Goods. I picked up these Valentine's Day mugs. They say hugs and kisses. There's two and they are $12.99. They were $12.99. But like I said, they were, it was a couple months ago. They are already done. But I know that when I went recently, they were kind of picked through. And in the inside, it is red. You can't really see it, but I thought these were cute. And I pick them up and save them for Valentine's Day. Okay, to the second box. This I picked up last year, but it's another Be Mine. Um, it's in that aqua, greenish, bluish, whatever you call it, color that I really like. So this one is really cute and it's just plain on the back. Like I said, I picked up this one up um, last year. And I don't know why this was in there, but maybe I did a hot cocoa bar um, for Valentine's Day. But this was from the Target dollar spot years ago, but it looks like it was $3. And then I picked these up from the Target dollar spot a few years ago. And they are just um, little Valentine's Day envelopes. And that's how I give my kids their little gifts. So we have three. <laughs> I think I had one for the dog, but my dog um, passed away. Um, it'll be like a year and a half ago, but there. I've had this sign since last year. It is from the Dollar Tree. It just says love. And I love the little galvanized heart. This pillow I got last year from the Target Dollar Spot. I think it was $5 and it's just a little tiny heart. More tea towels. I think these are from Target. This one was Opal House, I think with that one. And then these were Target um, dollar spot last year. So tea towels, Opal House, and then. 
And then this sign is from Hobby Lobby last year, but like I said, they still have it this year. It's the X's and hearts. This little banner, this is from Amazon two years ago. But if I can find it, I will link it. And it's just the burlap with the red on it. More little signs. This one from Target, not Target, Hobby Lobby last year. It says Love Brews here. And then I Love Us, cute little sign. I don't know if you could see this one there. And those are from, this was from Hobby Lobby last year. And they still have it this year. And then these were from Opal House last year. I did not see them this year, but they're just really cute. I think I had them on our little table here or in the bathroom. I know I set the soap and stuff on top of that. And then this little galvanized heart from Walmart last year. And then this little sign, this one was from Walmart last year. It says you and me, little galvanized heart. Little tic-tac-toe game was in my daughter's play area, which will go there again. And it was from the Target dollar spot last year. My Target dollar spot, I haven't seen any Valentine's Day stuff. Granted, I've only gone once or twice recently, but I haven't seen hardly any Valentine's stuff. The, ours is like pretty empty. Um, made with love, this little box, it's like a little, I think you can open it. <laughs> oh no, it slides. It's a little box and this was from the Target dollar spot last year and it is $3. And there's little hearts on the side. And then, last year I got this little um, love clip or whatever you wanna call it. This was from Hobby Lobby last year and they still have it. And then I had, I know these came in a pack from Hobby Lobby. They are these little plaid hearts. And they still have them this year. They have them in this color, red, and then a pink. And then these came in a pack. These little hearts came in a pack and they were from Michael's last year, but I know they still have them this year. And it says, I love you. X's and O's, be mine, but they also have um, just plain ones. And they're really cute. And then I have this sign. This was from the Dollar Tree last year. It came with a little jute string, but I pulled it off and I'm, I used it on my front porch last year. And then another little sign, this one says, I love you more. And that was from Hobby Lobby last year, but they still have it. These little signs are only $1.99. This galvanized heart, I used it on my front porch last year and I got it two years ago and it, they still have it at Hobby Lobby. It had a chalkboard with red and I'm not even sure I'm gonna use this this year, but that is it. So the last two things, I bought this two years ago, but they bring it back every year. It's this huge love sign. And it's distress. I think it's just so cute. It's the black, the white, the red. And it is perfect for Valentine's Day. And then this little mat, it says home. It has the heart on it. 
and I, it's not humongous, but I always back these mats. I have a black mat that stays there and that serves as the border and then I place these on top. But I like the lettering and everything. I think it's really cute. So, that is all the Valentine's Day, for real this time, that I have. And now let's get decorated. You could see yourself just sitting there on my chair. I'm staring at you. You don't even notice. Should have told you straight away. You don't have to be afraid anymore. I know you haven't noticed. You know. You So guys, that is it. So I just added that cute little mug there, some florals and our garland just to sweeten it up a bit, and then a few Valentine's Day signs throughout the bedroom. And if you believe it or not, I even switched things up after this video, but you guys will have to wait to the house tour to see those switches. I just move things around a bit. That is decorating. Sometimes you don't get it right the first time or second time and you just do it until you love it. Now we are going to make our way down to the kitchen and we are going to clean and tidy it up a bit and then decorate in there. And then that will be the last space that I will do for this video. It is super long. I'm so sorry that the haul was so long, but I thought you guys would want to see all of the items that I used. You could see yourself just sitting there on my chair. I'm staring at you. You don't even notice. Should have told you straight away. You don't have to be afraid.